Hello Internet! I'm Hazel and this is how I beat the legendary pet Dreadwalker in Tanan Jungle. You can fight this guy once per day for a bag of fell touched pet supplies, which can include one of four new pets and other assorted goodies. You can find Dreadwalker near the Hellfire Citadel raid portal here in Tanan Jungle. Currently, there's no quest involved, so just find him, beat him, and you'll get your bag. In the first slot, I've got my Pandaren Water Spirit with Water Jet, Whirlpool, and Geyser. In the second slot, I have my Chrominius with Bite, Howl, and Ravage. We're going Howl Bomb, except with Ravage instead of Surge of Power. For your third pet, bring your favorite tanky survivor pet. Bonus points if he counters Dreadwalker's backup of the day. I'm bringing along the Anubisath Idol, although of course Chi Chi and many other pets will also do. The key is having damage avoidance, mitigation, and healing to live through the Fell Corruption buff on the backline pets. For the Anubisath Idol, I have his moves set to Crush, Stone Skin, and Deflection. Alright, so make sure you have your Pandar and Water Spirit in first, and here we go. Move 1 against Dreadwalker, we're gonna go ahead and cast Geyser. This is the key to all of our plans with its strong damage. Perfect. Follow Geyser with a Whirlpool. You're gonna be taking big damage from this guy, but don't even don't even worry about it. So we Geyser, then we Whirlpool, then we switch head to Criminius. I'm sure this looks familiar. <laughs> Perfect. So he's gonna just smack you with all of his fury, which sucks. But you do have enough time to get off a Howl. And then once you've Howled, that Whirlpool and Geyser's gonna hit him. That is going to kill him. He gets to come back because he is a filthy mechanical cheater, but that's okay because he is stunned from the geyser, and then Ravage is going to finish him off, of course, with the Hell debuff, you know, helping out. And that's going to give you a little bit of a heal to help you survive against the last two pets. Pandaren Water Spirit gets schmucked by the bomb, but you know, nothing you can do about that. So we have six rounds of Fell Corruption left to deal with. All three of our pets are alive at this point, but the Renubisath Idol is the important one because he's who really has a surviving power to live through these last two pets. So now we're just trying to stall and do as much damage as possible against these pets while waiting for that Fell Corruption debuff to fall. And again, I'm gonna use the rest of my Water Spirit just before I get around to the idol. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Geyser. Um, I'm not gonna cast Whirlpool because he's underground, so he's gonna... it would miss. And there we go, he schmucks me pretty hard because that Fell Corruption buff, of course, does make them do 50% extra damage. It is sucky, but you know, it's, you know, life happens, so... I managed to get off a couple of good debuffs against this Maggot, and there's only one round left, so with the Anubisath idol, here we go. I'm going to use Stone Skin, um, keep Deflection to avoid things like Burrow and Lift Off and other scary big damage moves that you can predict. And of course, if the enemy pet doesn't have anything like that, just use it on cooldown to try and survive a little bit. Unless, of course, in this case, the debuff has already fallen off, in which case we're really just fighting a great level Blood Beak in this case. So we're just going to go ahead and smack him with a lot of Crush. I like the Anubisath Idol because he's going to heal a little bit every time he connects with his damage abilities, and then of course he's got lots of health and good mitigation to help live through that debuff. And of course he does enough damage that you don't, you're not going to be here forever, so we're almost done here. That pet did have liftoff available, but he didn't use it, so I didn't end up needing my deflection. Perfect. Down he goes! And let's check and see what we got in our little Fell Touch pet supplies bag. Cool. <laughs> two pet charms, two battle pet bandages. That is fairly standard for the course. And that's how I do it. Check out my channel and subscribe for guides to the other Tanayan legendary pets and more. Let me know what you think and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!